Vision. The voice, the V in voice stands for vision. Vision is the thing that energizes you in the morning. Vision is the thing that makes you write a new song. Vision is the thing that gives, makes you give birth to a new poem. Voice, you must have vision. The voice, the V in voice stands for vision. Vision is the thing that energizes you in the morning. Vision is the thing that makes you write a new song. Vision is the thing that gives, makes you give birth to a new poem, to a new form of art, to a new puppet format. Vision is the thing that distinguishes you. We remember people because of their vision. We remember Michael Jackson because of his vision. We remember the great artists in history because they had a vision to birth something, a new genre, a new type of music, a mixture of some, some, some genres, a, a form of art that nobody else had explored. We remember them because they became a voice and not an echo 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 so the number one ingredient is vision the thing that distinguishes one person from another is vision the, the thing that makes one great and significant and another hidden and unnotable is vision the thing that will take you from current reality where you are to desired reality where you see yourself is vision do you have vision what is your vision what is the thing that drives you, wakes you up in the morning? Number two, after the vision, the O stands for opportunities. What opportunities are around me? What opportunities can I take advantage of? But you see, the problem with this statement is, when I talk about opportunities, most people begin to say, well, the government hasn't given me opportunity. The music industry hasn't given me an opportunity to showcase my talent. SAPC hasn't given me an opportunity. Opportunity is not the byproduct of somebody else who's in authority and power who gives you an opportunity. Opportunity is the creation of vision. It is a byproduct of vision. When you discover vision, we will notice you. We will remember you if you will take note of these principles that I've given you in this very short space of time. We will celebrate you one day. We will go and buy your piece of art from a famous gallery one day if you will remember how to become a voice and not an echo. Chima, happy birthday. I love you. Aww. And I celebrate you today. Thank you very much. Those of you that can sing, those of you that are, po are able to, to express yourself in poetry, your gift comes from above. It was given to you. And you have a responsibility to use that gift. Ruth is, Ruth is um, now five years old. She was four months old when we got her. And the, 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 the people at the home said, you know what, you can have her, but she's HIV positive. So my husband and I looked at each other. Big deal. So what? She's HIV positive. I don't care. My husband said, I don't care either. And we said, we want her. We knew that that was our child. So we took her home and we prayed and we said, you know what, God, you can heal this child. You can take the sickness away. And he did. She's completely clean. There's not one trace of virus in the body. That's how it works. You know, I took African children into my home. My husband took African children, he loved them, he kissed them, he slept with them. There's no barrier in our home between black and white because there's no heart issue. We don't see color. My husband and I don't see a black child in front of us when I look at my daughter. The reason there is a problem between the division of a cultural division, an educational division, a political division, is because of the heart. Our hearts are hard. And the only thing that can soften the heart 
is love. But you have to make the choice, okay? The love that we have for one another has to be displayed. Love has to look like something. There is real love. And if you don't have love in your life, you'll have something which is the opposite of love, and that is called fear. The Bible says that perfect love casts out fear. So the opposite of love is fear, not hate. So if your heart is devoid of love, or you feel that you're not loved, you will experience fear in your life. And if you're experiencing fear, you will act a certain way. I'll tell you one thing that you will do, especially as an artist or a musician. Okay, you will look for fame. You know what? No amount of fame or money is going to make you happy. We're living in the last days. The world is becoming more and more corrupt and things are getting worse. Pursue your career, pursue your dream, but put Jesus in the, in the forefront, guys. Put him in the forefront because if you, if you don't, it's empty. It's an empty pursuit because we need love and if we don't get love, we're going to act out. We're going to either take drugs, we're going to throw ourselves at somebody to give us love. We're going to look for love somewhere. And I want to encourage you guys that love is only found in one place and you're not going to be happy if you pursue just your talent and your gift. You have to pursue more than that. So thanks for having me. Bless you all. Is that it? Eternal? Happy birthday. And I just want to say that Eternal is an incredibly talented young man. And although he does production and he sings well, he's also a brilliant preacher. And he also has a gift to, to heal people. So if any of you are sick, that's the man that you should be going to. Okay? I'm sorry, I have to expose him. Love is pure and perfect. God is loveful. Politicians, doctors, lecturer, lawyer, teacher, contractor, businessman, or student, or artist, or producer, marketer, even pirate. Oh, hey, lo, 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 l